Hello and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 with, of course, Morafi, our lightly clothed leader over here at the Ice Rock Gorge. So, I just remember that we actually took over Hexotal. I was very surprised to see that. But we can actually recruit a couple of troops over here, which is nice. We could get some Black Guard of Nagorond. Obviously, that would be perfect, but. I don't think we're gonna get some of them. Uh, first of all, our money doesn't really support awaits. that. But we definitely need a couple of those boys, uh, some black arcosairs, maybe a couple of artillery pieces for this army would also do it well. And I'm thinking maybe like a dark rider unit. But if I get a dark rider unit, I'm gonna get one with a shield. So yeah, I, I mean I could get cold war knights here. It's the thing. But I, I I'm not too sold on cold war knights. Uh, and I think that is actually mostly it for this turn. Lakel, Lefline, Lefthine, Leveth, Lev. Why can't I? Leviathan Rage. There we go. <laughs> actually leveled up. Um, she has a lot of. What do you have? You have a lot of Black Arcosairs and Shades in your army. So, Call of the Unworthy. That's, actually, that's not true. Um, it's actually for bleak swords, dread spears, dark shards. Uh, it's probably good for you too, but black corsair shades and dark riders, is speed, range, and armor. This is of course for the elite units, and this is for okay. Let's get the ravager rewards for now. I'm gonna get all of these, but for now some speed while you return to Ark uh, Graf. Um, of course, your sorceress has also gained another level. Um. Normally killed in action, this hero will be wounded instead. I thought most of my heroes have that, but apparently n they don't. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna go with scouting because I think a lot of my the uh, heroes, they, they just died. Yeah, I think they don't, they're not coming back. Um, yeah, they're, they're not gonna come back. They are just dead. So that's a shame. Um, you are... A dread lord. We need a steed, of course. A commandment available over here. Um, let's get. I'm gonna get the public order over here because this is a place where I need it for sure. And we're gonna end the uh, the turn, and we're probably going to fight the last of the Skaven armies here. Oh damn! I forgot something important, because I saw that the Skaven, the Clan Pestilence, actually has retaken one of their provinces that they need for the ritual. And if I'm gonna lose this uh, this campaign, I'm gonna be real salty. Can tell you that. So, Nagarov is under siege everywhere. I hope you, like Lavan, is going to do something against the rats. Yes, please move over there and take them out because I wanted to send over my the, the blood hole coven over here to deal with the rats, but. I obviously forgot to do that. Climb pestilence. Yeah, we can't let them win. Oh, they're, they're doing some nasty stuff. They took a long time there. Oh, yeah, we have Kothik over here as well. This army might... Uh, they're definitely going to attack Karan Kar. I don't think the blood... Uh, the thing is, I don't think the... The thing is the thing, I think. <laughs> the Blood Hole Coven is not at a war with the Clan Pestilence right now. And to get them to actually declare the war might, might be... Uh, not as easy. Okay, here's the unknown Skaven clan. Oh, they, they are just straight up. You're defending against an unknown Skaven clan and they are ambushing. Ooh, your army failed to spot an enemy ambush. They have launched a surprise attack, surely giving them the upper hand. Marafi has fallen victim to a to an ambush. That's interesting. I think that's actually the second time that ha has happened to her. But she clearly has the superior units here. Of course, we need to take care of our artillery. I can't let that fall. Otherwise, I have a lot of heavy infantry 
like the Black God of Nagarond and the Hargen of Executioners. I, like, this whole campaign I had this one assassin and I don't think he ever did anything great. I, I'm just not sold on him. He's supposed to be like a fighter, but, uh, like a, a duelist. But I don't think he actually took out any hero or general on his own ever. And also, I, his range attack is just horrendous. But you know, uh, they, uh, not all dark elves obviously can be super awesome. awesome because the black arcosers, for example, they are super strong. The dark shards and the shades. Actually, I don't think, I don't know if the shades are better. Oh no, they're definitely better than the dark shards. But they are, they're pretty good too. Okay, we have Morafi over here flying. There's our army. There's immediately a spell just coming in. Well, that's just straight up rude, isn't it? Um, where's my artillery? Okay, let's get the artillery going here. The black guard. Our... Yes, get over here. Get the harpy over here. And just get information, everyone. Because they, they are coming. They're most definitively coming. You're probably already in a good On position, but I'm gonna position it just slightly forward. differently. Put the, the Hydra over here. Um, Harpies get up on, on here. Next and Morafi just, uh, the yeah, they have a lot of clan rat, clan rat spears, so not too me. worried. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a spell action. Just right into the storm woman here. Oh, that actually might miss completely. Oh no, still hit. And I just hope that these poison globe worm ears are going to run in there. And we're also going to get another spell right. Come on. But just get it right there, and we gotta run us in. We also have. Oh no, not the power of darkness. Uh, the soul steal, I suppose. At these poison globe ears. Oh, okay. There's just a lot of enemies coming. I uh, get these red ogres out of here. Yeah, just destroy them. Get my hydra in there. Morafi, gonna do another spell right here. Hydra, just spit fire at these storm women over there that are actually currently affected by the spell. Doesn't really matter too much. Get our, our spears up there. Charge them. Yes. Cavalry is also going in. Probably not at these storm women, but at these guys. Get over there. We already don't have any more magic, huh? We have this, this is actually bad. Um, let's cast this though. The Hydra is taking care of this side. Let's get the chariot. chariot. Charge these uh, plague monks. Oh, we need some help over on this flank. I think he actually has. No, he doesn't. I do want one unit just watching this side in case something returns from there, as right now they are coming back. Charge these guys. These black monks. A uh, plague monks. I don't want them to kill or group my Hydra. Morav is very bloodied up right now. That's not too bad. Oh, she's gonna give a little bit of a spell right there. These clean guys. And you just destroy these red ogres. I just charge these pin... Uh, Globideers. We do have this as well. Just attack them. Just kill them. Yep. Get, get them back in line. Everyone go back in line. They're surely going to come back. Um, where's my hero? Why don't you just fire at this guy? It's Grace Seer. And get Morafi back here as well. I'm not actually attacking him though. Which is exactly why I don't like you. 
The enemy lord has been wounded. And oh, they still have the catapults back here, huh? Yes, uh, they probably have done a bit of damage. If I had to guess, we won't get enough magic to actually get back another spell, which I would have loved to just cast in right in this middle. Maybe do a little bit of a conduit. Just okay. Yeah, that that was perfect. Anyways, we definitely won the battle. There was no <laughs> question about it. We've lost 72. It's not that many. Considering most of them were actually killed by the catapult. Even though I thought we lost more. I thought the catapult killed 40. But yeah, the artillery of course did a lot of damage here. Um, the Red Ogres, they don't stand a chance. They just don't stand a chance against these Black Guard of Negrodont. Also, we just got 9,000 gold out of that, I think. Oh, we're gonna take some slaves. And we're gonna destroy them. Yeah, Tyrion is doing a ambush. That's not very uh, noble of you. So, I have dark purpose. as you return to Hakgraf, I am the first sorcerer. You just kill this the clan. Take the rest captive. Tremble. The exterminator, three of Skaven. First sorcerer. Unknown Skaven clan has been destroyed. And you will retreat, or re not retreat, you will return to the ancient city of Quintax to collect your black dragon. Tyrant Peak needs some money making. This army is going to march down here and take out this clan next, which is going to be good. Now, yeah, they still don't have the last ritual site. They do have four more turns to regain it though. This is this is the ritual site they don't have. Uh, they actually retook this one. And this one, yeah, I don't think my my clan here can reach that in time. The Blood Hole Cavern. Please share your inanities with me. I'm listening. I don't think you want to join my confederation. Yeah. Ridiculous. But will you join my war against Clan Pestilence? No. Most likely not. Short sight. Yeah. Yes. I didn't expect sure. them to really join me. Uh, what about you? Yes. No. Hmm. Okay, well, we just must hope then that they won't retake the settlement in the last few four turns here, and that we might actually win this one. If not, I I don't actually know what to do. I probably have to like reload a very old safe, or well, not that old of a safe, but an older safe, and then just try it again. So Kuark and the Black Pillars are going to get garrison forces. Cadden car. Gonna upgrade the port here. Port there. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. You're just marching to the Blacklight Tower still. I shall not rest. Yeah. Um no. Karen Kar is a pretty decent garrison force. A, vile corruption is a lot of dark shards, some harpies, but a lot of black arcosers as well. They don't have their special building yet, which is a damn shame, but they are going to get it, well, not that soon. I don't want to recruit another lord, though, so I'm not gonna. Um, you're a sorceress, so you're gonna get the cold one. And we're gonna end the turn here. As I don't think there's anything else we want to... Actually, oh, Lothan and Kothik have made a confederation. That means Lothan is the last high elven faction. Very interesting. And now this is of course a Lothan army. Uh, are they still going to attack me? No, it seems like he's going to retreat this army back home. Because he doesn't have really any interest in, you know, taking anything of Nagarov. Or Nagarond. 
Hexodal has lost a lot of strength with, well, losing their capital of the same name. So don't expect a comeback from them. I doubt that Lavan is going to advance against Clan Pestilence and destroy their settlement in the last second. I just hope that they won't, you know, resettle it because I can't. I couldn't have sent an army down there fast enough. The Pirates of Satosa are retreating, even though they are at war with Nagorod now, see? So they could take some land up here, which obviously I would retake immediately because I do have an army nearby with ha which has like a Hydra and some pretty nasty units as well. Ah, they have made a confederation. Okay, a brutal business. Ooh. Battle is a blood-soaked affair, limbs severed, bones exposed, men left for dead in the curse-soaked fields amongst scores of fallen friends and enemies. Strong weapons forged with time, sweat and expertise. Mark the difference between victory and defeat. A good sword cuts clean through bones, veering heads and limbs, where lesser weapons will merely maim. As instability grows across the world, so too does man's bloodlust and his desire for war and carnage on an ever grander scale. For 10 turns, 20%, oh, just 10? Uh, 20 weapon damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Um, dude, you're not going to resettle right there. That's That would be absolutely rude. Um, we're gonna retake Ice Aspire and just destroy this. Untouchable, undefeatable! <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just gonna destroy this guy. Yes! More power! More! Just destroy his faction. Take off ice spire. The very air is Obviously he's gonna get a re um a ghost force. Gonna upgrade that. You are just going to march slowly. Immediately. Just go over here because you are going to get your dragon now. It takes three turns, but then we finally have a black dragon in Morafi's army. Even though she's probably never going to use it. Um, you're gonna get a couple of Black Guard of Nagarond. Just four of these guys should do the trick in defending the territories down here. Get Iron Disciplinary to help this province out. And I don't think there's anything else I need to do, really. Um, Huck Graf could build... Um, yeah, I still don't know what to build here. Tyrants of Nagaroth. How's that Ganeth doing? Control. Um, they're getting a second Hydra, which is nice. Going to be a very strong army holding Madness this province. We can just look at our most profitable provinces and see um, if we can't build anything else. Maybe upgrade some buildings there, but I don't know what to build in these uh, territories anymore. Actually, Clark Current? No, they do have their. The layers of Clark <laughs> provides three war hydras as garrison force. That's so insane. Clark Carrant, you are crazy, dude. Uh, that's actually all my money. Okay. Three more turns. Um, let's hope they. <laughs> let's really hope they don't do it. I wouldn't need to reload that much, um, but I would just send an army down there. Probably. Recruit a dragon and then send Modafi down while the north is being held by the rest of my forces. I don't know what you actually just took, but that wasn't the. Was that the. No, that wasn't the province from the. from the rats, was it? I don't like this area. There's a, there's some kind of noise here, and it's like it's very low, and just it doesn't sound good. It, I don't know what it, I can't explain it in English. Is the problem, but it does not sound good at all. Thank you. Pirates of Satosa. Um, 
Yep. They're just marching around. The scheme of doom was performed. Yeah. Okay, they still don't have it. Hunt outlaws, okay. Nice. Um could we can't get the last research tier, so uh, unit experience, we don't really need that speed. Uh, it's not bad, to be honest. Armor is pretty nice. Can oh, I already have that because the campaign movement speed is so good. Upkeep for Dreadspeed, Zark Shards, I don't really need that. I don't need that. Uh, I guess I can divide and conquer or something. Get that extra. <laughs> uh, opinion bonus. Okay, he's Noble not. Not marching down there to resettle, which is good. Because that's your task. A vile corruption, A is, vile spreading. corruption is spreading. The Ashen Coast. Silverettes could be upgraded. I'm not gonna bother. Uh, Maku Peaks obviously needs a garrison force. And the garrison force here needs to be upgraded. And I suppose they are going to get some, some artisan houses or something. Uh, we don't have anything special here, uh, no. Exotal, of course, is having uh, this gold mine, which is nice. And there's nothing else I could attack. I don't know where else Exotal is. I think they are all the way down here. But I don't really need to attack them. I do have this really strong army over here now. Which, surprisingly, even though they weren't so strong, they did take over Exotal, which was one of the most surprising battles I've fought so far in this game. And I, I have to say, this game is really good. Um, the battles that we fought, really enjoyable. I don't even mind that they just spawn in like eight armies or something. Actually, well, yeah, but I think at some point it was eight. Because they're kind of, you can deal with them pretty easily, to be honest. Sure, it takes some kind of preparation. You need an army ready nearby and um, of course you need your provinces to have garrison forces but I learned in previous games that you should always build garrison buildings everywhere because you never know when they come for you. By the way, if we lose this campaign, like in the last turn here, that would be the first time I ever lost a campaign in Total War. Actually, is that true? Yes. What do you bring <laughs> before the hag sorcerers? I'm. You want military access? Sure. I'm thinking if that is actually true, I might have lost some. I think I lost a campaign or two in Rome, too. Because in the Imperial edition, because that was actually tough. It's really tough. I think it was as the. I don't even know which faction it was. It, uh, some kind of barbarian up in the north, just above uh, Greece. It was really hard, and I think I lost as them once. Alright, you just have a dreadmans here. Sure, upgrade that. Whatever. Just spent ten thousand gold on that. One more turn, and they have not yet retaken the settlement. You are still recruiting a dragon. Everything else is fine. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to do much else. And you're just going to do nothing. Yeah, stop building this. <laughs> and colonize. Cruel dreadlord. Just do that. Pits of the dock can rest. A nice building over here. I would like to have the special. Oh, I do have the special building. The gate to the under sea. Uh, to the underworld sea, of course. Of course. Um, yeah, I don't know how close they are. Actually, I can see. What's going on over here? Ah, it's probably. Uh, empiric corruption. I thought I could see over here now, but I can't. I'm not sure how close they are to actually resettling this because I can't see over here. 
but I hope they aren't too close. And this is the province line of the bearded skull, and even the elves are not close enough to get it. Um, could probably order you to take the caverns of the great bat. Favored of the witch king. Conquer that. Yeah, you've take you've done. Ooh, pillars of the unseen constellation. You've done a pretty good job just conquering and holding these lands down here. I'm kind of surprised. This Maelstrom, what what is what is a Maelstrom doing? Is it actually sending your army on the other side of the world map? Because that would be kind of awesome. You know, like in uh, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. That's where they did that as well. A commandment available? Yes. Uh, give my give me public order. Actually, I don't need public order. Give Corruption me. Thrives tax rate and the turn and see if the ref please tell me the red ritual just fails actually I think it already failed I don't think this turn is counting for them anymore so they lost I think it was pretty close to be honest uh, I should have started the ritual maybe earlier oh he's actually no no that's a different uh, thing he's attacking. You do have a moon dragon in this army and you are not coming back. I don't know what you're doing with this campaign, uh, with this army. You're actually selling a lot. You're actually selling south and you have taken everything back from Nagorod. Are you actually trying Your time with me is precious. to attack me? So I join my war against these guys now. I would like to do a confederation though. <laughs> I wish actually I would like to see an Ulthrianian invasion on Nagarond with like three, four armies or something because we haven't fought the High Elves too much in this game what? what, what is it? other faction did we not really fight? I mean yeah sure, sure did I actually just pay them? I thought he paid me, but no, I think I actually paid him a hundred gold. But I don't give a damn. If he attacks Ulfin, I'm going to attack him immediately again, so I don't care. Ally mobilizes. Um, no, he still has... Still has this turn? Oh, okay. I think now he actually lost. Uh, Marafi has a black dragon, so... Go to the black of the, the ancient city of Quintex. And we're just gonna. Dark Dragon Lord is the achievement I got. Uh, let's see. I The funny thing is, I. Malekith, the Witch King of Nagarond, will... I don't think I had a single black arc, so let's uh, see if I don't have like a shore up here where I could recruit a black arc where it's also kind of safe. Um, Argenev is certainly not a province on the sea. Obviously, Nagaron would be. Clark Karen Car would be, but I don't think it would be too safe over here. But let's get a Black Ark. A uh, little Goring way. Lord of the Black Court. And you're just gonna. And you already have a level 2, huh? Nice. Well, you're just gonna get a jump of Black Ark Cosairs. And then like a couple of dark shards. And that's gonna be your stuff. Admiral Gloring Way. And this is probably going to be the last episode of this Let's Play. I don't know what to do now after this, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna just play a different campaign? Do we will we play Mortal Empires, or are we just? I don't know. Um, also, I still haven't forsaken Crusader Kings 2. I'm just. I I needed a break to be honest. I I need a break from Crusader Kings 2 once in a while because I play that game nearly exclusively on my channel often, like. And. 
I, I enjoy the game, don't get me wrong, but I don't enjoy it that much <laughs> to play it like so, so much. I'm, I need diversity in my life, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Oh, what? The Black Hole, Coven and Nagarond have made a, have made a confederation. All right. Um, I'm a bit insulted because he didn't want to do the confederation with me. Also, the opposing ritual, the clan pastor and ritual, has failed, which is very good. Means my will, mine will be successful. With Felician's blood, the chalice is full, and Malekith may drink. The liquid inside, no poison this time, but an elixir that will make his body ready to absorb the vortex. But first, a god must be halted. The accursed Skaven. They claim the Vortex, their devious schemes twisting it into a portal. If the bell sounds thirteen, the horned god steps unto the mortal realm. Forces gather on the Isle of the Dead, where the greatest battle of our age will be fought. Treacherous Gracias gave an assemble at the eye of the vortex, my lord. Their bid to summon the horned rat must fail. Attack and gain control of the vortex yourself. Crest issued. Win the final battle. The goblin brims. The goblin brims with the life force of the victims, claims by your sorcerer's vassal and her assassin. Now is the time to move on hated Ulfwen and claim the power of the Vortex. The other races sense the peril and converge to stop you, yet the Wormen have been enacting their own devious, world-shattering plot. Under the shackles of the Council of Thirteen, the Grey Seer clan fight for dominance for the Vortex. Using power stolen from all the rituals enacted thus far, they plan to transform the, ritual, uh, the Vortex into a portal and summon forth their honored god from the realm of the Kay. The Vortex is your tool for ultimate vengeance. The Skaven must be stopped. Prepare for the final battle. Yeah, we're gonna fight a couple of uh, Skaven boys. The ritual side runs red with the blood of sacrifices. Yes, I think you know that. All right. Um. Now the thing is, is this wait, where is she? Is this the army I want to take Morathi. into the final battle? Yes. To be honest, um, this army over here Cruelty has been like violent. way better than hers. I am it's like very gimmickly because it has. I, have like, dark I don't know. Mother I'm gonna save, people. obviously. Um, Cult of Pleasure, final battle. And. I just gonna just gonna go. Wait, can I actually teleport with her? Dreadlord at your command. Oh I can! I This will instantly move Lacan and Levathian Rage to Crest Battle Location at a cost. Following the battle your character will be returned to their original location with any casualties taking persisting after the battle is over. So I could actually send the Lacan and Lothian Rage over there. Uh, but obviously, I mean, she does have a good army, but it, it has to be Murafi. It has to be Murafi. Are you sure you want to teleport? Yes. You are attacking Gracia clan. And they actually have Tyrion as reinforcements. They have Lord Mastermundi as reinforcements. Oh boy. Um, we do have like these two spells, Vortical Blast and Vortical Enrichment. Um, I thought we also get reinforcements? 
let's actually see the battle. Um, is this a free for all, by the way? I don't think so. I think these guys are actually going to fight on the same team. Um, well, let's, let's try it. I I don't know. I don't think this army is actually. For some reason, I feel like this is pretty weak. It's a pretty weak army, to be honest. But Tyrion and Lord Mr. Mundi are going to reinforce him. Uh, and we also have, of course, the Grey Seer clan. I didn't know they have a own clan, to be honest. But we have a Hydra, we have a dragon, we have a lot of artillery. And they do have Plague Claw catapults, which is a kind of bad. Um. Okay, well, there's the Vortex. Hello. The vortex is ours. None but my son shall walk into this maelstrom. And only then will he with my permission. This god of rats is insignificant compared to the gods that have lusted for me. It is time for these pests to be exterminated. Grab your blades, Druki. There is no time for torment. Just sever their lives. Kill as many as you can. Right there. I have a pretty good position up there. Right up on this hill. I don't like that positioning because they're gonna have a lot of good firing arc on us here. I'm gonna try to get this position. Right. I'm going to get over here. I'm gonna send my dragon probably up there. So I'm gonna get the blackguard. I'm gonna get the executioners. In the last row we have our artillery with multiple bolts. And of course the shades in the front. Get a couple of cavalry units over on this side. And our special units on this side. And Lord Afi and my assassin just right here. Marathi. I don't think I'm in range of his catapults. No, I'm not. Okay, get a clear my monster back here. And I'm just gonna send up my dragon to destroy the his. Skaven have almost completed their summoning, my lord. One yep. final chance remains to defeat them in battle and foil their scheme. Advance! Yep, the Hornet Red is coming. Feed the Gracie. Holy shit! Okay, I I kind of expected that, but I didn't expect that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's shooting with his catapults at my at my dragon, obviously. Um, can I just I just spit some fire at these clan red spears? Hopefully, you destroy some of his catapults with them. Yeah, the catapults. Yes, you did destroy one of the catapults. Nice. Nicely done. They don't have that many slingers or anything. So, that's pretty good. Actually, get Murafi up here as well. Because she can do some nasty stuff. I do definitely have time. But damn. Um, that was scary. Did you hear that? It's just. The vortex is mine! I actually don't want to spit too much on them, so because I have to save up some some juice for the other armies. But I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a spell right in here. He doesn't actually have that much of an elite army. I could get like my bolt throwers in range. And he's trying to get his troops out of there. I mean, if he wastes his ammunition like this, I'm totally fine with that. Forward. On the move. But, yeah, I'm just gonna cast some spells at him. Um, I don't Indeed. Indeed, yeah. Let's try to get his... get him here, right here. Gonna take some time on this battle because it's the final battle. Yeah. 
I can get over there? Because the rats are coming now. I think they are actually attacking us. Stupid night runners, I don't like them at all. Um. Indeed. We're just gonna use some more juice on these guys. Right right there. Now ah, that actually might have been a bad decision. Because there's not a ma lot of enemies right there. Let's go for the catapults now. We don't have Dark Conduit active, that's also kind of bad. Good. We are now silencing his catapults while his army is moving closer to their doom. Get our Hydra up there. You've destroyed this catapult. And this catapult is also getting destroyed. Get my lord over here. Come on, Hydra. How can you be so slow? Such a huge beast. Actually, I'm just destroying the catapults themselves. And his army is now in range. So, our artillery is bringing the pain to them. Uh, he actually doesn't have any have It's a bit of these storm vermins here. Yeah. The only unit that actually is kind of worth it. Yes. Get our. Ooh, nice. Uh, retreat now because. There's not much you can do on this point on. And dark shots are going to fire very soon as well. And we didn't actually stop the catapults. Probably should have gotten the harpies over there. But yeah, the, the rats are easily defeated, which is good. I don't want to use too much of my resources on the first enemy army, you know. So. My dragon's actually already tired. It's not good. Uh, these night runners are a problem. So there's not much I can do against them. Uh, the enemy army is absolutely getting destroyed here, the storm vermin. Okay. Can't really do anything against these, uh, these night runners. Apart from just firing at them. Don't think our range units can actually reach them. Actually, you did reach these guys. But they might just run. I think they're just gonna outrun us. You attack. Oh, they, the catapults are getting over here. So, fly back here. Fly to the army. Oh, we destroyed this, uh, uh, this, this force right here. This sword has no chance. Probably should focus. Oh, you still have a lot of ammunition, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you say. Whatever you say. The elves, uh, the, the Skaven have been stopped. No problem. Just the night runners now. And I'm gonna give my dragon a little bit of rest because he's very tired from just flying about the battlefield. You should uh you should easily kill this guy. Shoot at him. Oh yeah. I don't know if you are actually doing anything, to be honest. Okay, he's trying to get his army back together, but. I don't think there's gonna be much of a chance for him. But the chariots are close now. I mean, the artillery is just ripping them apart. It's really these death rats, the night runners. Yeah, just fire at the Lord. Just charge in or something. <laughs> Ooh, some spell. The enemy 
are in retreat, mighty lord. Yes. The power of the vortex is in your hands. Use it wisely. Okay, we have others who seek to control the vortex converge upon your position. Okay, there come the elves. The high elves enter the field, my lord. Arrange your defenses for the sons of Alfwan seek control of the vortex in a desperate quest to stop their island from sinking beneath the waves. Okay, just move about. Uh, the dragon is hopefully. Yeah, he's not long attired. Powerful explosion. The explosion does not affect 20 units, creates healing burst from source. Yep. The water could blast. Uh, do I have, like. I don't think I have any charges for these. So why don't we just try this right here? Yeah, oh wow. Wow, that is actually cool. That did a lot of damage. Our allies are fleeing. <laughs> Those are not your allies. Technically speaking. Rafi is active, the dragon is still winded. And if this is going to go on like this, it's going to be an easy battle. And we can use this apparently a lot. The water called blast. A surge of crackling energy and shimmering light ha heralds a blast of magic as the power of the vortex explodes into the world. The vortex can heal as well as harm, producing magical energy that can invigorate and mend living tissue. I'll get a another explosion right in these places. Yeah. Okay, they're not gonna have a good time yet. Uh, no, Dragon, go slow. There's no rush. You can also go slow. You can just fast forward <laughs> while the elves march into position. Um, there's no worry whatsoever. Uh, that was maybe a bit misplaced. Okay, hello, elves. Get destroyed, elves. Feel her fury. Uh, why do I want to see? That's uh, that's not all of the forces though. There's a lot of them not present. Ah, there they are. That's what I was looking for. Okay, there's a, it's a dragon. So it's a dragon. We're gonna give these knights over here a little bit of explosion. Also Phoenix guard. We're just gonna shut. Actually, can you spit at the enemy dragon? Yeah, he's going to spit at me as well. And then just charge him. Give him a little bit of a negative spell. Okay, yeah, that's for sure. Like, what the hell is happening over here? Give my dragon the ceiling spell. No, not over there. Oh, great job. It's not quite where I wanted it. Gonna destroy these Phoenix guards. My dragon in retreat. Morafi as well. And you can just do another little bit of a spell right there. A retreat from this dragon. Yeah. Good. Chariots, it's your time again to shine. Actually, can you like, attack these archers? And then we're just gonna do a little bit of a of a healing explosion. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Then you're just gonna get out of there. I'll do another explosion on these Phoenix Guard. Oh, hello. The enemy dragon is still here. Obviously. Yeah, just fire at them. My artillery is now in range. That's Tyrion. Okay. Yeah, you need to retreat. It just has no chance whatsoever. It's just... It's not fair for these elves. It's like... <laughs> What are they even doing? They destroyed two Phoenix Guards just with this ability. It's, a, it's an awesome ability, I love it. Yeah, these, these elves. Man, they, they stand no chance. Get our Hydra in there. Attack these Silverhounds. Right, 
Mason where he's just destroying lives over here. And you probably shouldn't run. And you just charge right into these uh, iron helmets. It gives it a little bit of a healing spell. Yep, and let's just wipe out these units. Nice. Oh, you're trying a bit of fire magic, huh? That's my... That's my mage here. And that's my lord up there, like my assassin. Give him a little bit of a deluxe spell. And also just burn him, I suppose? Yeah. Pretty good. We'll do some... Uh, so it's still not sure. Oh, we shouldn't have done it. Right there. Goodbye, arches. Cool. That was brutal. Yeah, not even this dragon can do so much against my shades here. I think that's uh, that's it for the elves. So get my army back in position. Actually... Oh, we actually were charged over here by some dragon princes. And the lizard men make their way onto the owl. Defeat them. Yeah, that's it's not going to be a problem. Goodbye, skinks. We can also just give you this, because why not? Let's go to destroy them, uh, you. The lizard men attack, my lord. Their deranged quest to re-establish the order of their ancients would see them use the Vortex to annihilate the world. Drive them back. Marathi. Oh. Oh. Let's turn the army a little bit. Because we have to fight these guys now. And we're gonna send everything in. This is the last, last attack. I don't want you to burn them just yet. But just destroy them. Okay, there's Lord Nest Mumi and the rest of his army. That's what I want to use my special abilities on. Black Dragon, get back into the air. You can actually get a bit of a healing explosion here. Spit some fire on these temple guards over there. I'm gonna spit some acid on these guys. Where's my cavalry? Get back, get in here. After you spit some fire, just attack your enemy. Are we Probably going to explode him. Nice. I'll just kill Master Mundi. We didn't even need our army. We only did it with our artillery and our our monsters here and our hero. Yeah, the ceiling spell just that's really strong. Um, they couldn't send more of these armies against me, and I would probably not really be bothered too much. Did I actually what's firing at my units? Let's get some units closer. You also need to get in there. Bit of a explosion going on. Nasty. Of the sick variant. Bit of healing. I might be good. Yep. Let's fire at Mr. Mundi. We could send some black guard in here to deal with these monsters rather easy. But why? Attack lot Mr. Me. My dragon is actually kind of easy. So why don't you just do that right on top of him? I know it's probably going to hurt him as well, but oh well, oh, we can just heal him. I think he's out of healing points. So get him out of there. 
So my cavalry is free. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. The rats. The rats attack one final time, so. One final attack to seize the vortex. Keep fighting. Yep, I probably should have expected that. But oh well. Everyone get in position. It's not like we have a lot of issues or something. Probably. Yeah. Still have this. And you can take out these guys pretty easily here. Take out these gutter runners, attack these guys over there. So have this dragon. Send it over here and these clan rats. We should probably help attack these people. Give them a little bit of healing. Nice. Yeah, the final rat attack. A bit surprising to be honest. I didn't quite expect it, but still rather easy to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I, uh, there was not a lot of commentary in this battle because there was just not much to say. Uh, I managed most of it with my heroes. My Hydra is not even in the battle yet uh, at the moment. Probably should get some some da Black God of Nagrod over here to deal with this abomination. Uh, so who's dying over here? Yes, Vortex is yours victory. Easy. Easy. Happy with everyone even didn't even die. Well, it took like 20 minutes, maybe. But, well, the Hornet Rat was. Yeah, the Hornet Rat has lost. We've sent the elves, the rats, and the uh, Slither Man running. And heroic victory. Victory is yours. Revel in your might and bask in fleeting glory. The enemy will remember this defeat, scorched into their racial memory till the end of times and beyond. Not till the end times. The defeated Skaven vermin run squealing before your exultant force. The treacherous attempt to subvert your plan crushed utterly. The vortex lies defenseless before you, the wards guarding it overborne at last by your final ritual. Your laughter is a thing of malice and cold triumph. In Aeon's past you reveled in... Observe me. Observe glory. We lost... <laughs> we lost a hundred men in this battle. Take these and we went away. outnumbered like... Four to one or something. Probably worse. A lot worse actually. I have need of slaves. Yeah. Enslave the rest. A horned god banished. Vermin purged from the island's shores. The witch king has the prize. Alfram and its vortex are mine. My son has his revenge. <laughs> And so the Vortex is ready to receive its Dark Elf Master. A new era begins. But there will always be enemies to fight. And wars to wage. Well, it was kind of underwhelming. The Great Vortex is yours, despite the efforts of your enemies. Your will has prevailed, and the Great Vortex has been disrupted. Your triumph has ensured that your plans have come to full fruition, bath in glory, even as your enemies cower. Hail to the victor. You may now choose to begin a new campaign, perhaps with a new race in a different part of the world. However, if you desire to make, you may continue conquering and ruling the empire. 
Now that Vortex is no longer a factor, the war goes on. There are still rivals to quell, lands to invade, and a victory of total domination to strive for, and the fruits of your triumph over the Great Vortex will aid you in this. Leave or stay, the choice is yours. Continue to the records. Highborn is what I got. Okay, so we can actually see, like, if we go a bit faster. Like, this is... Okay, that's a bit better. This is where we started. Ah, oh, this was like the bleak hold territories. As you can see, we just... Actually, we didn't actually take this one, but we took this over before, and we lost it again. But then, our expansion... Actually, our, our first expansion was kind of... Uh, kind of tough. I mean, look at this. We, we took some territories, and we kind of lost them again. I think this was the first ritual. And then it just kind of, yeah, we just conquered a lot and I think that's, we lost a lot on the north again, but once we had these territories we pretty much didn't take anything else for like a <laughs> good 50 turns. Actually that's not true, there was always a bit of action going on. Sadly I can't see the rest of the map. I suppose it makes sense because uh, uh, because of the continue campaign button. Let's look at our statistics. So, we won un in 172 turns. We held, we are currently hel holding 42 settlements. We captured 52, so we lost 9. Yeah, uh, this is the most amount of territories we held. It's also the same provinces was 11. Most commandment issues was 26. I actually commandment is just totally was 26. Buildings constructed 334. That's not too interesting to be honest. Um, total resources held. Unique resources. Now what I think is actually interesting is the forces and the units. So total military forces established 21. I have 7 forces currently. I have 7 forces at the most times. Total armies established 21 of course. Yeah. Current army 7. Yeah we already got that. Most concurrent armies, what? <laughs> 46, I don't believe that. Uh, we recruited six, uh, 13 lords, we've killed 92 enemy lords, we've lost 22 lords of our own. We recruited... What? <laughs> we've recruited 176 units. Uh, this is probably um, garrison units as well because we lost 255, but we've destroyed 1,310 units. We fought 800, uh, 800, 184 battles, 73 of those personally, 111 automatically, two ambushes, both with Morafi, uh, 62 land battles, 60 minor settlement ballad battles, one subterranean intercept battle and 57 siege battles. That is crazy! We fought more sieges than men battles. We had 159 uh, victories. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... 13 of those were heroic. That's... okay. And losses, we had 25 losses. Uh, most of them were minor siege battles. We had not a single loss in a land battle. Most of these were... Uh, all of these were sieges. Or minor settlement battles where I didn't have an actual army. Of course, hero action I didn't really do much, and we, yeah, captives taken th thirty-five thousand. Um, well, that's that's that I suppose. Do I actually get a bonus for victors? Ah, oh. enemy wins of magic starting amount minus fifty. Wow. Hero capacity, 2 for all heroes. Um, diplomatic relations, 1 plus 100 for all factions. Hero and recruitment rank. Wow! Just plus 14 rank. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, but we don't get the... the, very I, from the I don't think so. I don't think we get the ability, sadly, uh, that we had here. We've taken the Vortex. What happened to Malekith? <laughs> That's a good question. Is Malekith still around? That's not Malekith. I don't know where he would be. Um, but I think he's still around. But yeah, that's... That's that, really.
Oh, there he is, Malekith. Calls everything unique. Um, yeah. I I suppose that's that's the campaign. That's that's that. Really. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And please tell me in the comments what you want to see next, because I don't, I, I still don't know if I want to do another campaign. Oh, actually, I would probably do another campaign. It's this game is great fun, and this campaign was a blast. But yeah, um, if you have anything else, then sure. Uh, if, if if you want to suggest another faction or something, then do it, please, in the comments down below. And we will see us maybe in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.